Welcome to Auto Exclusive and another one of our exciting head-to-head -head videos. Today, we're pitting two very popular compact SUVs against each other, the Toyota RAV4 and the Hyundai Tucson, to see which one is the best SUV for seniors. Which one will win? Let's find out. The first category on our list is the exterior category, and we'll start with the Tucson. The Hyundai Tucson was fully redesigned for the 2022 model year and features a unique design that car and driver calls daring and future forward. We're not willing to go that far, but we will say this, it's attractive, and we're not sure that this style would appeal to all seniors, but the same can be said about the RAV4. The RAV4 was last fully redesigned back in 2019 and is also an attractive looking SUV. Make no mistake about it, the RAV4 isn't trying to look elegant or refined. Instead, it shoots for a more rugged, aggressive look that isn't necessarily aimed at seniors. The look of each vehicle has their own merits, and some seniors embrace the sporty, more aggressive look that both the Tucson and RAV4 embrace, while others may shy away from it. We hate to start off this comparison on the wrong foot, but both SUVs embrace the same style and look good, and we just don't think there's one that seniors would really lean towards, so we have no choice but to call it a tie. We're off to a bumpy start, having to call a tie in our very first category. We'll moving from the outside and into the inside, make things easier on us. The short answer is no, as these two vehicles have much in common, but rest assured, there will be no tie. Let's start with the Tucson. The Tucson features a well thought out, modern yet simplistic cabin that is mostly draped in high quality materials which pushes the interior of the Tucson into the upper end of compact SUVs. Seniors will find entering and exiting the Tucson is relatively easy due to a good entry height and wide door openings. Seniors will also enjoy push-button start and heated seats, both of which are offered on all trim levels other than the base model Tucson. The RAV4 also offers the convenience of push-button start and heated seats on higher trim levels. And much like the Tucson, the interior of the RAV4 is modern and attractive, but just isn't the same level of quality. However, seniors generally will find access in and out of the RAV4 to be just as easy as the Tucson. Even though the RAV4 and Tucson have many similarities, the cabin of the Tucson is simply higher quality than that of the RAV4, and therefore, the winner is the Hyundai Tucson. Just like anyone, seniors enjoy infotainment systems, but they want the system to be easy to use, and they also want the screen to be large enough to easily see. Fortunately, both the RAV4 and Tucson offer relatively easy to use infotainment systems with sizable displays. In fact, both vehicles offer roughly the same size display, as each comes standard with an 8-inch screen, while higher-end models offer roughly 10.5-inch screens. The big difference between the two vehicles comes down to connectivity. The RAV4 now offers wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto across all trim levels. The Tucson, on the other hand, only offers wireless CarPlay and Android Auto on lower-end models equipped with the 8-inch display, while higher-end models only offer wired CarPlay and Android Auto connectivity. Therefore, the winner of this category is the Toyota RAV4. Cargo space is one of the reasons that seniors gravitate to SUVs, and in this category, there's an obvious winner. Let's start with the available cargo space behind the rear seats, as this is the space that is most often used. In the Tucson, owners will enjoy a generous 41.2 cubic feet of space, while owners of the RAV4 will only be able to take advantage of 37.5 cubic feet. Of course, 3.7 cubic feet isn't a huge amount. But at the same time, it approaches a difference of 10%, so it's noticeable. Moving on to the space behind the front seats, the net difference between the two more than doubles, as the Tucson offers 80.3 cubic feet, compared to just 69.8 cubic feet in a RAV4, a difference of 10.5 cubic feet, and more than 10%. There's no contest, winner, the Hyundai Tucson. Seniors like their cars to have some juice, just like anyone else, so the powertrain is not something that should be overlooked. However, it does get a little complicated as each vehicle offers a standard gas-only model, a traditional hybrid version, as well as a plug-in hybrid. 
For the purposes of this video, we're going to keep it relatively simple and just focus on the gas-only and traditional hybrid models. Let's talk about the gas-only models first. The Tucson features a 187 horsepower inline 2.5-liter four-cylinder engine that just doesn't hold a candle to the noticeably more powerful 203 horsepower four-cylinder engine found in the RAV4. Each vehicle comes with an eight-speed automatic transmission and standard front-wheel drive, with optional all-wheel drive available as an upgrade. The tables turn, however, when it comes to the combined engine power in the hybrid models, as Hyundai flips the script on Toyota by offering 226 horsepower in the Tucson, compared to 219 in the RAV4. As for the drivetrain, much like with the gas-only models, there's no difference between the two hybrids as both the Tucson and the RAV4 hybrid models offer standard all-wheel drive. This is a tough call, but the difference between the two vehicles in the gas-only model is relatively noticeable at 16 horsepower, while the difference in the hybrid models is less significant at just 7 horsepower, and therefore, we're going to give this one to the Toyota RAV4. Fuel economy has become more important to everyone as we endure high gas prices, but to seniors, fuel efficiency can oftentimes be critical as many seniors live on a fixed income. Let's start with the gas-only models. The gas-only Tucson sees fuel efficiency of up to 25 miles per gallon in the city, 32 on the highway and an overall 28 miles per gallon, while the gas-only RAV4 comes in a bit higher at 27 in the city, 35 on the highway and 30 miles per gallon overall. As for the traditional hybrid models, again the RAV4 outshines the Tucson with up to 41 miles per gallon in the city, 38 on the highway and 39 overall, compared to the Tucson's 38 miles per gallon across the board. 2 to 3 miles per gallon doesn't sound like much, but over the course of a year, it adds up. Winner, Toyota RAV4. There's probably few categories more important to seniors than our next category, ride and comfort. In this category, we look at a variety of things including driving position, visibility, road noise, and overall comfort. In most respects, the Tucson and RAV4 are pretty comparable, each offering a good driving position for most drivers. Drivers will also have relatively good visibility, although some angles at each vehicle are suboptimal. The seats in both vehicles are comfortable and each SUV does a good job absorbing the dips and bumps along the road, allowing for a smooth ride. However, when it comes to road noise, these similarities come to an end as the RAV4 simply comes up short, allowing more noise to penetrate the cabin than the Tucson. As a result, we're giving this one to the Tucson. We're going to warn you, our next category, safety and reliability, is going to be a tough one and is going to come down to a judgment call. Here's why. In the area of safety, the Tucson edges out the RAV4 with a higher top safety pick plus designation from the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety, better than the one notch lower top safety pick designation the RAV4 received. On the other hand, the RAV4 scores higher in reliability from consumer reports, with a rating of 80 out of 100, which is 11 points higher than the Tucson's score of 69. However, there's a twist when it comes to reliability between these two vehicles, and that's the warranty. Hyundai offers a five-year limited warranty, versus just three years for the RAV4. In addition, Hyundai also offers a longer free maintenance period of three years, or 36,000 miles, noticeably better than the two-year or 25,000-mile free maintenance period offered with the RAV4. As we mentioned, this is a tough call, because without the difference in warranty, we would consider this a tie. However, in our judgment, Hyundai's superior warranty nudges this category in their favor. Winner, Hyundai Tucson. We're down to our final category, price, which is important to everyone, but oftentimes especially for seniors. Let's start with the RAV4. The gas-only model of the RAV4 starts at a quite reasonable price of $28,475 but the Tucson is even more reasonable at a starting price of $27,250. Now, of course, these are just starting prices and most people upgrade their vehicle in some way, but with a starting price $1,225 less than the RAV4, the Tucson starts with a clear price advantage. Let's move over and check out the price of the hybrid models, which naturally are going to be more expensive. 
The Tucson Hybrid starts at a little over $5,000 more than the gas-only model at $32,325, while the RAV4 Hybrid comes in $3,000 higher than the gas-only model at $31,475, a difference of $850. With the gas-only Tucson coming in over $1,200 cheaper and the hybrid Tucson only being $850 more expensive, the Tucson maintains a slight price advantage. Winner, Hyundai Tucson. Okay, it's that time where we add up the wins and losses and see which SUV comes out on top. So we had just one tie in the exterior category, while the RAV4 won the powertrain, fuel economy, and infotainment categories. The Hyundai Tucson, on the other hand, took the interior, ride and comfort, price, cargo space, as well as the safety and reliability category, winning a total of five categories in total versus three for the RAV4. Therefore, we have a winner, the Hyundai Tucson. Congratulations to Hyundai on the win. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.